Hi, and welcome to another tutorial brought to you by WorshipMediaPro.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about using the media examples with your free Easy Worship 30 day trial. So, the tutorial examples, and if you have not downloaded these, you can go back to the trial email that was delivered to you and click on the link to download the examples. So, that will be in your trial email sent to you by WorshipMediaPro.com. If, uh, if you can't find that email, you can always go back to WorshipMediaPro.com and then click on Free Trials, Easy Worship, and just re-register for the trial download. You'll receive an additional email with the link to get these examples. So with these examples, we're working with four different images, actually four different media types. The first one here is a high definition, a still background, and a standard definition still background, a high definition motion background, and a standard definition motion background. The two motion backgrounds are in the Windows Media Video format, WMV, which is native to Windows. And the still backgrounds are the JPEG image format and uh, the HD version is 1280 by 720, so that's the uh, wider screen and the SD is in 1024 by 768. So before we continue any further, let's jump to uh, taking a look at the different aspect ratios. So what I have here is 480p, which is 640 by 480 resolution, also known as 4-3 aspect ratio. So if you're looking at your projector screen and it looks rather square, this is the resolution and aspect ratio that you're going to work with. If your screen is a wider screen, then you're looking at a resolution of 1280 by 720, also known as 720p, and the aspect ratio of 169. Again, we're using the Windows Media Video File, WMV encoding, which is native to Microsoft. You also have the option to use MOV files, which are H.264 encoding, that also maintains a higher resolution. Uh, keep in mind too that the Windows Media Video now does a two-pass uh, uh, variable bitrate, which means that it is able to maintain now a high-resolution 720p encoding. So that's why we're using WMV for both. But again, you can use MOV. You have to install a different codec, K-Lite codec, and we have a tutorial on that under uh, tutorials. If you go to worshipmediapro.com, click on tutorials, you'll see installing the K-Lite codec. So you can use MOVs just to let you know in the future. All right, so let's get out of that and let's get back to our tutorial examples here. So I'm going to fire up Easy Worship and I'm going to load in the backgrounds, the example backgrounds we're working with. Now keep in mind all of the other uh, tutorials such as creating schedules, um, editing your schedules, live, logo, black, clear, you know, all these different features and settings are available to you in our training series. This is simply for you to, to get the media loaded into Easy Worship, your trial version, so that you can start going through all the tutorials. I still recommend you, you look at lesson number one, which is loading media into Easy Worship as well. So uh, now I've already extracted my, my background, and as you can see, the one that I extracted is not here. We actually loaded in other uh, backgrounds, and these I think are all high definition backgrounds. So we loaded in all the backgrounds, the motion backgrounds, under the media tab and the sub tab videos. There's images and videos. There's other feeds and DVDs, and again, these are covered in our other tutorials. So let's focus on video to start. And I'm going to minimize this, and since I'm working with HD, I'm going to pull the 720p version. Okay, so I'm just going to drag it, and I'm going to drop it right into my Easy Worship. So if I expand the Easy Worship again and I go down here, you will see it's been added. Now I can verify my playback is okay, meaning that my, my encoding is working. I'm, I'm able to decode this particular background by, by clicking on it, and then going over here and pushing the play button. And then I can also confirm that looping is good by clicking the loop button here and then watching it go through the entire cycle and ensuring that that looping will be correct. So I'm going to hit pause on that. 
And, uh, and again, I have other backgrounds here that I've loaded. These are the backgrounds that are available to you in the bundle collection. So now let's load our images. So I'm going to click on the images tab here, the sub tab. And I think I already have it loaded in here as well somewhere. So we'll be just installing it again for the training purposes, which is fine. Yep, there it is. So I'm going to delete it first. And if you notice, it creates a direct link to the downloaded file. So don't move the downloaded once you've extracted it in the zip file. Do not move that downloaded uh, background because it will then break the link to, uh, to Easy Worship. So let's go back to our backgrounds here. And I'm going to go to, let's see here. Oh, actually, it wasn't that color. I was using a, a, a red one. I'm, again, I'm going to use HD, not the standard definition for my examples. So I'm going to pull that in here. And it looks like I already had a copy. In fact, that's the copy. But that's OK. We'll just learn it again. So now I just have two instances of the same thing, right? So I'm just going to delete that. Delete image. Yes. OK. Now, as you can see, I can verify that image by just clicking on it, and it pulls it up in this preview pane. And again, we're going to talk about creating schedules, such as an example, dragging this song up here, Mighty Fortress, and then selecting my media that I'd like. I can just drag it right over the schedule. And this will be all covered in the tutorials here. But that just gives you a quick example. And then Video Jockey we also cover as well. So that's it. We've covered the different codecs, the different formats, the different sizes and aspect ratios. Uh, one more thing I want to talk about is extracting. <laughs> Probably should have talked about that first, but sometimes I get questions with, with, uh, with folks that have downloaded it and they don't know what to do with this zip file here. So all you have to do is right click on it and do extract all. Make sure you note where you're extracting it to. It's actually going to extract it to the folder where the zip file is. So in this case, it's on my desktop. And I'm going to do extract. And then it will show me what I've extracted. It also creates a folder. But I've already uh, done this extraction. I've already pulled it out. So I'm just going to delete that folder. Okay. Hopefully that was really informative. And, and again, thank you so much for stopping by Worship Media Pro. And I hope you enjoy your tutorial. Uh, sorry, your, your training series and your trial version of Easy Worship 2009.